I'm Jim Ellison. I'm head of the technical and the educational departments here at Sternbolt. And today I will show you how to use the angle correction version of the stern snap attachment. If the total divergence of the implants is greater than 16 degrees, that is greater than 8 degrees on any one implant, and that is from the desired path of insertion that we like for the prosthesis, then the angle correction stern snap attachment must be used. Now, each angle correction stern snap attachment will correct up to and including 17 degrees of divergence. That gives us a, a maximum of 34 degrees between uh, any two implants. But actually, you get a little more uh, than that because of the flexibility of the cap that is in the denture. Therefore, we can correct up to about 40 degrees between two divergent implants. In order to better understand this attachment, it's a good idea to take a look at the parts that make up this system. Now the first part of this two-part abutment is the SFI abutment. Now this portion of it the screw thread and the shape of this is unique to each implant. In other words, this is different for all of the 180 or more implants into which this will screw. So this part screws into the implant. From here up, this is the tissue cuff height. And that uh, comes basically in one, two, three, four, or five millimeters. This is driven, as you can see, with a flat bladed driver that fits into the abutment. And if I take that off, you'll see it's the thumb knob that I took off allows this to be driven with any torque wrench that takes four millimeters square tool. So you can use a thumb knob or a torque wrench. Now if I take that out, you may be able to see that slot in here and this is a hemisphere. In other words, it's part of a circle. And that's why we can pivot the attachment so that it will provide us angle correction. Now the next part is the actual stern snap attachment. It's basically a circle. These are made of titanium alloy and the gold color is titanium nitride. Now, there's a hole in the side. It's actually, we'll see, it's going to be assembled with this screw eventually. I'll show you how that's done in a minute. But for the moment, I'm going to use that just as a tool to turn it over so that you can see that there's not just a screw hole through here. There's actually a slot. And this surface is also hemispherical. So this pivots on top of the hemispherical surface of the SFI abutment. Now, <clears throat> as I say, when we assemble it, we're going to assemble it with this is actually called the handle that goes into that side screw and the last, well not the next to the last part is we're going to have this white plastic alignment handle that will help us to see the angle. But through that, this is the screw that we use. Now this is a uh, 50 thousandths hex driver that the screw is on. One thing you'll note is that this is a very fine thread. The threads are close together. <clears throat> Therefore, we have to be careful. It's fairly easy to cross thread this. So we're going to assemble it. So let me just move these parts aside. This has the stern snap attachment with the screw inserted and the handle coming in the side. This handle is how we're going to maneuver this around. It's kind of like, uh, oh, if you were steering a boat, it would be the tiller on the boat. Uh, you'll notice that the screw slides in that slot, and we'll see how that 
works as we uh, assemble this together. So what you're going to actually receive when it comes out of the package is this. In other words, we have the handle screwed into the side. And by the way, this is only, this is not something you want to unscrew and screw back on a lot of times. Once or twice is okay, but we, uh, this is a rather shallow hole with, once again, some fine threads. So it's meant really to just be used this one time or maybe a second time if you have to put it back. But um, here, once again, we can see the screw maneuvers in that slot and we assemble the alignment, the white plastic alignment uh, post on top of this to show us which way the attachment is going to be positioned. Now into this implant I have screwed the zero degree stern snap abutment. These are usually sold as a one piece abutment with different tissue cuff heights and of course specific to this particular implant. Now this as you can see is lined up rather nicely with the path of insertion we'd like for this overdenture. So I'm going to call, obviously call that zero degree, I'm going to snap on one of the white alignment handles so that I can use that as my reference for lining up the next abutment. So here I have placed the SFI abutment, proper tissue cuff height, we tightened it with that slotted driver to 30 newton centimeters, assuming this was the mouth. Now we're going to take our stern snap attachment, the angle correction one, and I've seated the 50 thousandths hex driver into the head of the screw. You see I can kind of move that in the slot. What we're going to do is this, of course, has to be lined up. This implant has a, a little mesial tilt. It has to be lined up with the implant and the abutment so it goes straight down in. So we're not putting this at an angle, we have to put that in straight. Now, as I mentioned, this is a rather fine thread. We're used to using medium threads in dentistry. But this being a fine thread, if you feel any resistance, you'd want to back off and start again, because you might have cross-threaded it. But when I get it in part of the way, you can see that, in fact, that's a little snug, but I'll loosen it a little bit. I can move this. I can move it through, well, all the way around, 360 degrees. I can move it up and down to the gain that uh, 17 degrees off angle. So what I'm going to do is look down at this, move it around, and I'm going to snug this up so that it's close. These don't have to be perfectly parallel, but close. Now what I'll do is take out, and as you can see, when I take the thumb knob off, this hex driver also is driven with any torque wrench that would accept a four millimeter square tool. So if I take this out, and I look at it in two planes, you can see that it looks good in this way, and then I look at it this way, and yes, it looks good that way as well. So that would be good for the angle correction of that abutment. Now, it's only hand tightened at this point. So what I have to do is pop off gently the white handle and set it aside. Put our 50 thousandths hex driver back in to the screw. And now I'm going to use a, turn it sideways, I'm going to use a torque wrench. This is one of a number of different styles of torque wrench. Let me put that in first. There we go. Fit it into. Now what I'm going to do is hold onto this handle and then torque it to 20 Newton centimeters. We get it back around this ratchets a little bit. There, now holding the handle, there we go, that's 20. So we've now tightened that up, and now we're all set. And I can unscrew 
this little handle. And now we have the two of them parallel with each other. And we can now continue with the steps of processing the caps into the denture. Well, that's our short video on the procedures for using the angle correction version of the stern snap attachment. If you'd like more information on this, you can uh, go to our website at sterngold.com or you can call in to our toll-free number at 800-243-9942. Thank you.